All right, everyone. Today, I'd like to present you with a simple questionnaire. Is Chi-Chi a slave owner? What the hell is this? This is the question that I give you all today. Is she a slave owner? Now think about it. I might be just thinking out my ass, but <laughs> really think about it. Is she, she is a zombie that has died and come back with the blessing of an adepti. This alone is something that I thought about and questioned why no one else questioned what Chi-Chi truly was. And it was quite puzzling. But I'm here today to show you a theory on why I think our little Chi-Chi might be a slave owner. Now what is the definition of a slave so that we can, you know, not get misconstrued here on what we're doing? Well, according to the Merriam-Webster that I'd assume to be correct, says a person who is the legal property of another and is forced to obey them. Well, what's your thoughts on it so far? But, now I assume everyone knows that Chi Chi's a zombie, right? Spoilers, I guess, about the plot, but um, fuck all you and let's go on. So, um, what told me this would be the case that she died and if you die, you usually lose your soul or at least lose some part of your humanity, as in all basic brand zombies do. But, we gotta explore how zombies work in the world of Genshin. Didn't God Zhang Li has a little insight on how zombies work in this wacky realm. Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. So now, if that's how zombies work in Genshin, we can take the claim out of the way that would, um, strike my theory down. But even Zhang Li thinks this is a bit odd, which I would agree as well. But, maybe bad wording? Bad acting? I highly doubt it, but maybe the line before it might give us a hint to, um, why. Your medicine, but only if you show Chi Chi your prescription. These are Chi Chi's orders. Now, you might be listening to it and be like, what's wrong with this? Take another listen to it, but a specific part, shall we? These are Chi Chi's orders from Chi Chi. Now, I know the English language is filled with bullshit rules and is by far one of the most complex languages just alone because we've decided to, like, you know, throw shit from other languages in our own, which is kind of bullshit, but, um... The possessive form of her name, Chi Chi, is being used in the context of possessing orders her body was given. If I'm correct, the body is a zombie, but her mind is not. And she died, so technically she's not human anymore and she's not a person. This could be poor writing or bad translation, but I have to believe this is intentional. Now with the bullshittery away, the foreplay and the cucking out of the way, I'd say that this is a little weird. Because she's not talking in the third person. Well, technically it's in third person, but her, but she's not talking in third person. Now you may be like, what bullshit are you talking about? When she mentions Chi Chi's with S, her body is saying that something else is possessing the orders. Now it might be odd, I may not understand bullshit, but when you talk in the third person to yourself, you typically say your name, that is true, but. How she does it, she's filling in the words where she would say in third person, that she would say, I. But you may be like, oh, the third person, you say your own name. Well, fuck you, because define third person point of view. As it says right here, the author is narrating story, but the character is referring to them by name. Then there, my folks, I win the claim. The author is narrating a story. This is third person point of view. So who's the author? Cause Chi Chi's dead. It's her soul. Now you may be like, that's bullshit. But as long as Xiao is the conqueror of demons. And as far as I know, demons are evil spirits. Therefore, souls exist in the world of Genshin Impact. Such as if you do the quest with Big Nine and Little Six, that little girl's a spirit. Or a ghost. Or a specter. Or a wraith, however you want to say it. 
That's a soul. As far as I can tell, her soul repossessed her body and is giving herself orders. So, with this concrete evidence, and clearly no one can challenge us because you have to play at least three hours in the story to get to that part again to prove me wrong. Chi Chi's soul is a slave owner of her own body. Me like that one, hmm? Now, Genshin Impact can officially release that souls don't exist, or they can come up with some bullshit contrived backstory for her, which I really want them to do. But, I win, you lose. This is a theory, so don't be butt hurt. People will be. Don't know why, but that's the theory, my folks. Hope you enjoyed it. You might think it's quite interesting. You think it's probably filled with bullshit. No, I took definitions and looked at it in a different point of view. If anything, it's just a different way of looking at a story. But your <laughs> your your perspective over mine, I guess. But it's just a theory. A Genshin Impact Theory. <laughs> How do you like that one, Matt Pat? They both got G's in it. It works. <laughs> well now. If we're all done here, I'd like to wrap this up. Wait, wait a second. What do you mean? You're through, Sugoi. Can't you see you're not making it anywhere? You're not doing anything. But can't you see I'm attempting a fact? A fact of what? You looked at a story and simply set a different point of view. You've lost hope. You've got nothing left in the tank. What do you mean I've got nothing left in the tank? I'm still here talking about my life and my theories. Why does anyone care? Tell me. Why does anyone care? I... Yes, you're right. Why would anyone care? <laughs>